Hey guys, this is Jared at Three Cs. I am very excited because today we're going to do a zero turn lawnmower video today. We're going to give you a tutorial. We're going to talk about how to start it, why would you use it, best practices, tips and tricks, and then what is it not good for. So let's jump into it. So the biggest thing with these mowers is I think is being educated. A lot of folks come in right away and they're like, do you sell mowers? They're like, yep, we got the zero turns and they immediately like turn around and walk out the door. And I think it's just out of fear. Like they have no idea how to drive it and they just don't have the confidence. And it's like, well, if you get good at it, you can literally control these with one hand and get the whole lawn done. I can rest this arm and do nothing with it and have the lawn look great when it's done. So I think the biggest thing is just educating the customer as long as you're willing to accept it and learn it. We recommend the zero turns to anybody that's looking to save time. So typically like we'll get a phone call, they'll buy it, they'll go home, they'll use it. After they get a pattern down, they'll call them like, we just saved a third of the time that we used to take when we were cutting our lawn. It would be like a three hour job down to two hours and it looks great. The zero turns leave a really good cut because at the end of the row, you can really finish it and you can line back up. If you're trying to cut around a tree really tight, you can do that. You're not doing like these weird turns around trees to get the cut to look good. So these are all benefits of a zero turn mower. Let's talk about how to start a zero turn. There's a lot of different things on the market and different styles, but with the Gravely's, they're so simple. This is my favorite model. It's the Gravely ZTHD. They're overbuilt, they're super strong, super thick decks. And if you come in here, let's show how this works. So what we do is to start a Gravely zero turn, we have different things we have to worry about. We have our parking brake. So the e-brake has to be in the up position. Our PTO has to be turned off. So this is our power to the blades. So this has to be in the down position. We have our throttle, we have a choke, and we have a key switch. So the, the thing here is always knowing that your PTO is off. I get a lot of folks, they go home, they do their first cut, they're driving around, they're cutting, and then whenever they stop, they turn the mower off and they get off and they never turn their PTO off. And they call and they're like, oh my gosh, my mower's broke, it won't start, and I'm like, well, Let's go out in the garage real quick. Can you like, can you hit down on that red lever for me? <clears throat> Some of their brands are yellow. PTO just depends on what it is. And as soon as they do that and they try to start it, it works great. So come on in and we'll show it real quick. So some mowers want to choke. It is pretty early in the morning and choke just gives air passage through the carburetor and helps it start easier. So we're going to turn the throttle like halfway, leave that off. Our parking brake is on. It's always recommended like once you start the mower to idle it down and let it warm up for a minute you don't just want to like hop on it rev it to the moon and then go mow your lawn for longevity especially the mower like this it's going to last 10 to 15 years if you take care of it if you idle it down for a while get off prep yourself get ready maybe get your ear protection get your eye protection get back on it and then you can mow so really easy to start the mowers again the parking brake has to be on pto has to be off and your choke is really highly recommended. If you're just mowing for a long time, choke isn't needed. Another thing with zero turns is it's so easy. So let's say there's like a stick in front of you and you want to get off and get that stick. You're mowing along and like, oh, I can't drive over that. It's going to hurt the blades. It's going to make things look bad. All you have to do with a zero turn is apply your parking brake. So the motor is still running. You turn your blades off, turn the parking brake on, and then you can get up and get off the seat. Any other time, if you're mowing, and your PTO is on, if you're just mowing along, anytime your butt comes off the seat with a PTO on, it's gonna shut off. It's a total safety feature. So the whole goal is like, if your butt comes off and the blades are on, the machine thinks that you could be underneath of it. And that's, we wanna kill the blades. We don't want them on. So anytime your butt comes off the seat, you have to make sure you turn your PTO off before you get off. So that way you can get off, move the stick, turn your parking brake back off, turn the mower back on and keep moving. So how exactly does a zero turn mower work? This is a question, and I think this is part of the fear. People don't fully understand how this works. So what you have is you have two separate handles. We have a right handle and a left handle. They are totally separate from each other. So no matter what you do with this one, this one's gonna do its own thing on this side. This lever controls this wheel only. So if we apply forward pressure on this lever, that's gonna spin this wheel forward. If we bring it back to the neutral position, it's gonna stop it. And then if we pull backwards on it, it's gonna spin this wheel backwards. This is what gives you that ability to spin around a tree so easy, to do a really quick three point turn. This is what's saving you the time when you're driving a zero turn. I think the fear comes in the fact that people don't know, like they're like, there's no brake. There isn't a brake, but all you have to do is bring your handles back to the neutral position. And once you operate it for like 15, 20 minutes, that's really easy to find and very safe to do. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give you guys some best practices for beginners. So I'm gonna pretend like I've never done it before and I'm working with a customer. They come in, they're excited, they're actually gonna give it a try. Like they're not just walking out the door right away. And so I'm putting them on a zero turn for the first time and I have to kind of explain to them like what to do and how to do it. So this is gonna sound really funny, but I always refer to it as like the shopping cart method. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube and nobody talks about this and nobody has the, this idea. And what I mean by that is, come on over here Braxton, over my shoulder a little bit. So here we have our handles and this is very simple and straightforward. So let's pretend we wanna go straight down the aisle. We just take light pressure on both sides and we apply it forward. And with applying even pressure, it's gonna push the cart straight down the aisle. We get to the end of the aisle, just like a shopping cart, we're gonna stop pushing on it. It's gonna return the neutral. And then we wanna make a right hand turn. We wanna go down the next row. So we just simply apply some forward pressure here. And you can even pull back on this one a little bit. That's what gives it the zero turn effect. And as you make that turn, you straighten things back out. You wanna make a left. You apply forward on the right and pull back over here. Someone wants to pass by you, you're trying to like give room for them, you pull your cart straight back. And that'll pull both wheels straight back. So this is a very easy way for most people that are intimidated, like, okay, I can do that. They just kind of envision what you're doing. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start this mower and turn it down to super low RPMs. So if it's your first time operating a zero turn, there is no need to rev it all the way up and turn your blades on and just start running wild. I've had people not here, but stories of, they go home with it and they let somebody try it and they're just going wide open and like that's where accidents happen. If we keep this at a really low RPM, this zero turn's barely gonna move and that's where we can learn the practice. So I'm gonna fire this up, it might get a little bit loud and then you can see how slow we can move this and not have like that out of control moment. So you can hear the mowers all the way down, the throttles all the way down. I'm gonna take my parking brake off and now you can like, you can practice this without high RPMs. So I'm gonna apply both forward, even wide open, that's as fast as it's gonna go right now. And then I can go backwards with it. And if you wanna make that right hand turn, and now we're going right. We wanna bring it back to the left, I'm gonna pull back and push forward. And then if we want to back up, we're just going to take these handles and pull them straight back. The next thing we want to do is show you guys how easy these turn. So I'm going to start it back up and I'm going to spin it in a complete circle right here. This is how easy you can maneuver a zero turn. So let's pretend you're like in a really tight space. You got the house, a flower garden. You just want to get back out of that spot. You just simply pull up on the brake. So simple. You can pull a complete zero turn. That's the whole point of not even moving this thing out of its spot and spin it all the way around. So let's give you guys some demonstrations on this. So the first tip I wanna give you guys is just how to do a three point turn. So I'm gonna do it right here in the driveway so you can really see when I don't do it, it's gonna tear up the ground underneath of the tire. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this zero turn really tight without doing the three point turn. And if you do this continually, you're gonna really tear your grass up. So I'm gonna to try to keep that wheel still and I'm gonna spin around it. So if we look at this, if you come in, you see how much that tore that up? And this is our driveway with milling. So imagine that's your lawn tearing the grass up a lot. And that's just gonna like, the idea of a zero turn is to be able to turn sharp, but you still wanna do three point turns when you get to the end of the row. So I'm gonna show you the three point turn method. I'm gonna come in, back up, and then kind of go away. And that way it lets you set up for that next row. So I'm gonna come in, we wanna go back that way. We're gonna spin this way. And then we're gonna take off again. You can see there with the three point turn, we didn't leave any traces of us turning around. That's gonna be important in your grass, especially if it's wet, like this morning, it's pretty dewy. That's why we're not in the grass. It's really dewy over there. Or if it's like a new lawn, you don't wanna tear up. There's no roots that are deep yet. You really don't wanna tear it up. So that's our three point turn method. I'm gonna set up some, some cones and show you how simple this is to run with one hand.
Okay, let's take these three cones and pretend they're like your trees that you planted out front of the house, and you have to weave between them. And this is where the zero turn, I can control it with one hand. We're gonna take one hand and run through these cones. So I'm gonna start them over here. Take the parking brake off. And watch this one hand, I can navigate all the way through here. I just simply, I'm not gonna turn it now. I'm gonna keep it straight. And I'm gonna turn it this way. When I get to the end, I'm gonna do a complete circle around this thing with one hand. See how tight that is? With one hand. I'm gonna come back down this way. I'm gonna go around this last one again, this tree over here. My gimbal's having a hard time keeping up. That's how simple a zero turn is to operate. You literally can just do this with one hand and zero effort. Like, I'm just sitting here and I, I only did this. Imagine if I was on a riding lawnmower and I have to crank all the way to the right, all the way to the left. When I get to the end, I'm doing a full lock steering on the wheel. So all that effort, if you're spinning the wheel back and forth is gone with a zero turn. I simply just use my handles like this and can turn it. So this next thing is how to mow in reverse. A lot of like riding lawnmowers don't let you do that and I think it's crazy because I would argue like a third of my mowing is actually in reverse. So let's picture this is like the side of my driveway. I don't want to blow grass out onto it. Typically you want to make two passes like blowing the grass in before you turn around and blow the grass out. When you're mowing in reverse you can simply go forward hit it and then I can mow backwards all the way down. So this is a really good tip. If you can master how to mow in reverse, it's so simple. And I think it's even easier. Once you learn how to do the one hand, that way you can kind of sit here and you can look back. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through these cones real quick for you guys and show you how I can go in reverse with this. So imagine you're going down the driveway and you wanna keep the grass going. This is how easy we can do it in reverse. So one thing I love about the zero turn mowers is how easily you can raise and lower the stack. So if I'm mowing along and there's a big tree root, let's say like a big pine tree root that sticks up. And right now, the way I have this deck setting, it's at two inches off the ground. And that would definitely like grab that tree root and hurt the blades. What you can do is as you're mowing with a zero turn, you have your foot control that raises and lowers the deck. So if you zoom down a little bit back and just kind of show, maybe back up so you can see the deck moving, you can see how the deck itself is going up and down with the mechanism. So as I'm mowing along and that tree root is right there, I can simply just put my foot against it, drive over it, get over it. And once I know I'm past it, I can put it back down and keep going. I'm not stopping, I'm not wasting time. I'm ripping along, I'm like, oh, there's that tree root. Get up and over it. As I go past it, I put it back down and I keep going. It is so easy to control things like that with this. So the last thing I wanna cover with you guys is like what is a zero turn not good for? So there's a couple situations where I wouldn't recommend a zero turn. People come in, they're all excited about it and I actually, I'm like, you know what? You kinda of need to have two mowers or not choose a zero turn. So the main thing is around ponds. They are not safe. With each having their own transaxle, if you're starting to drive and you start to slip into the pond, the wheels will just take off and go straight into the pond. You have no control. As you're pulling back on the levers, the wheels could be spinning backwards, but all that momentum and the weight is going straight down in the pond. It's greasy. I understand that most mowers are not safe around ponds, but especially zero turns. Next thing I would not recommend a zero turn for is a really steep hill. Out front of our dealership here, we do use it and we do do it, but it is mega steep and you gotta be extremely cautious with it. So if you have a lot of really big hills, I don't think a zero turn is great for that either. The last thing I think a zero turn is not good for is wet ground. If your property is prone to being wet all the time, if you have like soft spots, the zero turns, you really can't turn on those. You have to like have an exit plane. You gotta be able to go straight across that wet spot, get to the other side, and then make your turn. If you're trying to turn halfway through a really swampy area, it's just gonna sink down and you're gonna have to get towed out. Thank you guys for watching. This is our first tutorial on zero turn mowers. We sell the Gravely brand here. I really love the ZTHD series. If you have two to three acres to mow, this mower is gonna last you forever as long as you do the service on it. Super thick decks, overbuilt axles, really strong features, all mechanical so things don't fail. Again, Jared at three C's. I hope you guys enjoy the ride and we'll see you on the trail.